When I read it, my first response, my instinctive response was, absolutely not. I'm not doing this movie. I heard that come out of my mouth and I was like, since when did I stop doing that? You know? Because that's basically what I look for. I look for the challenges that I don't think I can accomplish. You know, the beautiful minds or the master and commanders or whatever, you know, with the violin. And, and then I, I just started to think about it in a different, from a different place. Because one thing I did know is that when I read it, it was a page turner. how it connects to where we are right now, where we are in terms of a seeming inability of people from different perspectives to have a polite conversation with each other. Well, it's a strange thing with this character because he's, we don't really discuss his past, we just give little indication that at the beginning of the movie that he's involved in something kind of horrific. Because he's already triggered. And it doesn't really matter that it happens to be Rachel. It doesn't really, really matter in a way what she says or what she does. He's just, he's already over the line. She just yells at the wrong dude on the wrong day, you know? And he doesn't care about the consequences because he's already crossed the line. He's no longer capable of any level of humanity. He's stepped away from that. And nothing that happens in this movie is rational. Nothing has any logic, doesn't have any, any true reason. It's just somebody whose own humanity, in a way, is drained by their experience of, of life. And that's where we get to. He's looking for some kind of balance, some kind of indicator from other people that he's not invisible, that he has some kind of worth. This is a different kind of challenge. I got nothing. I got nothing reasonable, nothing logical, you know, and I've got, I can't use my sense of humor. I can't use my own humanity. I've got to close all of that down in order to show a person like this. But it just felt like the, the most unlikely thing that I should be doing, so that's why I did it. But there was just something about her that kind of lent into that combined vulnerability and strength of a Nicole Kidman or a Meryl Streep. There was just something, some depth in her eyes that, you know, both of us, we just had the same thought at the same time. When she left the room, he just turned around and he, Derek did, bought the, the director and he just said, it's her, right? And I agree with him. That question, how am I going to do that? That's one of the most exciting places you can be as an actor in cinema. How the fuck am I going to do that? You know? And, uh, you know, so it's, it's been really healthy, more than healthy. It's been, it's been really great. 
In it, Chapter 2, a record 5,000 gallons of fake blood, the most for any movie ever, were used to shoot that iconic bathroom soon. To get the shot just right, Jessica Chastain basically had to bathe in a kiddie pool of fake blood, which she said was freezing. Ugh. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description. And remember to click below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.